Hello and welcome to the LuLaRoe video training series. This series of videos will help our LuLaRoe customers get set up and show you the fastest way to start getting your orders out. The end of each video will have you choose where to go next based on your specific needs, so please be sure annotations are turned on using the gear symbol in the bottom right. So to start, we're going to set up the basic configurations in your account, starting with your label settings. So we're going to click on settings on the blue bar up at the top. Since we're starting with your label settings, we click labels on the right side under label sizes and printing options. Now if you have a 4x6 label printer, we're going to select the first label here on our left for domestic and international orders. If you have a standard 8.5x11 printer, you'll select one of the images on this page that has two per page. If you have sticky labels, make the selection that most closely matches the ones you have. Notice below each template is the type of label paper it uses. Now this page saves automatically, so we're going to move on and go look at your store settings now. So, settings on the blue bar again. This time, we're going in the bottom left under Integration, select Stores and Orders then just click on the empty box that says manual orders. So, these are your store settings. A few things to make sure on this page. First, this email is what the customer will see for your email, so make sure it's the email you want them contacting. The phone number does not display to them by default. Then, this shipping address will display as the ship from on your labels. If you need to add a different ship from address, you'll want to manage your addresses, then come back to this page to select it. If this is the address you want on your labels, but you're physically shipping from a different zip code, enter the true shipping zip code in the ship from postal code field. If that doesn't apply to you, you can leave it blank. Scrolling down to the store logo, this is where you'd set your logo if you have one. It has to be a relatively small image though, can't be larger than a megabyte, and about 200 pixels on a side. This logo will appear on your shipment confirmation emails. Then we go down to your communication section. This first checkbox here needs to be checked if you want us to send shipping confirmation emails to your customers. The email is sent when you buy the label. Then, down at the bottom, there's two fields. The first one, send copy of buyer emails to. We'll send a copy of every email we send to your customers to this address as well. If you're tired of getting those emails, come in here and remove it from this field. You won't get them anymore, but it's generally a good idea to get the first few, just so you know what they look like and that they're actually going out. Then, uh, the buyer email reply to field. If your customer responds to the shipping confirmation email, the address in this field is where that response will end up. That's all we need to do on this screen, so hit save at the bottom when you're done and your settings are configured. On to the next video. Uh, click the link that displays now that best describes how you want to get your order information into the Shipping Easy app.